Welcome to Community Matters on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm your host, Jay Fidel. Today, we'll talk to Sharon Moriwaki. We're calling this Sharon Moriwaki Speaks Out on Community Issues of Importance. Our guest for the show is, of course, Senator Sharon Moriwaki of the Hawaii State Senate. Welcome to the show, Sharon. Thank you, Jay, and thanks for having me. It's great seeing you and being here again. It's great to talk to you because uh, we need to know what's going on. Um, a lot of people don't find out until after the session is over, so this is an opportunity to tell them what happened and, um, and what the upshot is for them, for the community, for the state. So anyway, there were a bunch of bills that were passed, and they were signed into law by Governor Green. Can you itemize some of the ones of, let's call it community interest? This was a banner year for us. In the six years that I've been in office in the Senate, this has got to be the best year. It's the boldest year. We made real big strides. We always keep on talking about, one, the cost of living. Well, we made significant, the biggest tax cut ever in the history of this state. Uh, we talk about um, the vulnerable not having, um, um, especially in the rural areas, not having access to doctors and dentists. Well, this year we were able to uh, exempt doctors and dentists who serve people who are Medicare, Medicaid, or TRICARE, and, and they don't have to pay taxes. So now they can serve more older people, more disabled people, more vulnerable people. And a major area of my interest, uh, the kupuna, uh, we were able to um, really focus in on the frail elderly. We, we keep on putting funding and support to keep people aging in place in their own homes, keep them healthy, exercise and so forth. But this year we focused on the other end of the spectrum. How do we keep them in their own homes? But when they can't be there, how do we keep, take care of them so that they have quality care all the way to the end days? Uh, so we, we focused on kupuna. We also wanted to end the, the brain drain, so to speak, of people leaving the state. Uh, so we're looking at workforce development. How do we look at affordable housing and fund that so we keep people here? The talent cannot be draining out of the state. So those are major areas I see where major accomplishments were made. Of course, everybody, oh, and, and the homeless, of course, and dealing with mental health and, and substance abuse services. But all of this were, um, you know, bits and pieces along the way. But this year, bold action was taken. Money was put behind it. And this was in spite of or despite having to put up a billion dollars to help Lahaina recover. So that's yeah. a lot. Well, but it's a lot, but it was a lot that we did this year. And I'm so proud that we were able to get together with the House and also the governor to really get these things not only passed this year. And, and you know, he started with four, 17 vetoes on his list. And he ended up with seven. So some of these bills that he did not veto and he signed were very significant. There are so many other bills that, um, you know, we've heard of during the session, and I wish we had more time. Uh, there are some really interesting bills, and I'm sure you're aware of all of them, but um, maybe we'll have to cover it in some other show. Um, but uh, I would like to try to keep people informed about what's cooking at the legislature, not only during the session, but after the session and for the next session. Well, thank you so much, uh, Senator Sharon Moriwaki of the Hawaii State Senate, uh, for your work and your caring. And I hope we can do this again soon. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. I like your programs because it does bring out the community and, and the community responsibility. So thank you. Mahalo. Aloha. Mahalo. Mahalo.